it's a club for, right. for our democracy. All right, Dr. Barazza. Mm -hmm. And you can see right now, this d debate two is just about to kick off. It's starting off in the next 45 minutes or so. And one of the candidates there, Honorable Rigade Gashagwa from the Kenya Kwanza and UDA Brigade is already here ready to face off with Honorable Mata Karua. He's, he's, he's just come in first. And of course, they're going to hold him for a bit for the second part of that debate, which is kicking off at exactly 8 p.m. all the way to 9.30. That will be moderated by James Smart and Sophia Wanuna. James Smart, who has been told there's no such thing as beard gang. <laughs> we'll cross over to James Smart and find out what's really going on. But right now, the, one of the candidates who's arriving for the second debate, that is Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, is heading to speak to Ken Mijungu and Michelle Ngele to find out how he's feeling this evening. Ken? Trevor, thank you so much. And uh, of course, the Kenya Kwanza uh, Alliance candidate, uh, our running mate Rigadi Gashagwa, is here, all decked up, looking really nice. Thank you so much for uh, you. Quite early, you keep time. It's about five minutes past seven. Uh, how have you prepared for this debate? Well, to start with, I'm a guy who keeps time. You know, I was a guy in uniform. I believe in military position. You told me here to be seven. Here at seven, I'm here at seven. Okay. I'm ready for the debate. I'm looking forward. I hope this debate is about the people of Kenya. I hope we are not uh, degenerating to triviality and uh, innuendos and rumors and unnecessary issues. Mm. I trust that the moderators will give us a chance to present to the people of Kenya our plan to turn around the economy, to change their lives, to put food on the table, to make sure that every Kenyan can pay their bills, they can take their children to school, to make sure that every Kenyan who goes to hospital cannot be detained there because of lack of uh, money and uh, to restore the dignity of the Kenyan people. Okay. You know Kenyans are in a state of helplessness. Kenyans feel very uh, dejected. They lack hope. We need to give them a plan. Okay. And we have that plan. And uh, given an opportunity tonight, we will talk to the people of Kenya and tell them the plan that we have. Very, very interesting. But as I let you go, because you need to take a, a little rest before you take to the podium, how, you are prepared for this debate. You have been uh, going around campaigning for Kenyans. But how do you feel being here tonight? Uh, this is the day, you know, because obviously you're prepared for it. I feel good because I'll have an opportunity to talk to many Kenyans who don't come to public rallies. There are many Kenyans who, because they are working, they are busy in business, some outside the country, they don't get time to attend public rallies where we have been pushing our agenda and explaining to the people of Kenya why they should give Dr. William Ruto and I a chance okay. to change their lives, to restore their dignity, to give them hope, to inspire them. Right. And those are the Kenyans I want to talk tonight. tonight. And I trust and pray that the moderators will not be trivial. They will give me an opportunity to talk to the people of Kenya about our plan and convince them okay. that we have the best plan for them. And that is why they should come out on the 9th of August and vote, vote for Dr. Ruto and I. All right, regarding Gashagwa, running mate for uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa, all the best as he walks in to now take his position. And Trevor, very interesting, uh, he's a man who keeps time and uh, he says he's uh, ready for the debate and I know we are also ready. Over to you, Trevor. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. We're absolutely ready for debate two. This is just moments after debate one has just finished. Just in our mind of the Roots Party and Ruth Mutua were facing off. Now debate two is kicking off in the next 45 minutes or so that's at 8 p.m they're going all the way to 9 